So let's get started with the 100 random question tag. Do you sleep with your closet doors open or closed? It depends if I'm able to shut them or not because I have too many clothes in there. Do you take the shampoos and conditioner bottles from hotels? Yes. Do you sleep with your sheets tucked in or out? Always tucked in and pulled as tight as humanly possible. Have you ever stolen a street sign before? No, never have, though there's a few I've wanted. Do you like to use post-it notes? Not really. Do you cut out coupons but then never use them? I don't have newspapers or anywhere to cut out coupons. Would you rather be attacked by a big bear or a swarm of bees? Hmm. Probably bees. Do you have freckles? Nope. Do you always smile for pictures? I hate my smile, so I actually hate smiling in pictures. What is your biggest pet peeve? Kids nowadays, the youth of today, the way that they write, their stupid text talk, and the way that they make up words like fleek. It's like you could just come up with a word, say it, and everybody's like, oh, that sounds good. It's not a word, but I'm going to use it anyway. <sighs> Illiteracy and stupidity is all that's rampant in the world nowadays, and that is a huge pet peeve of mine. Laziness is the way of life now, which sucks. Do you ever count your steps when you walk? Nope. Have you ever peed in the woods? Yeah. How about pooped in the woods? Yep. Do you ever dance even if there's no music playing? Never. Do you chew your pens and pencils? Yes. How many people have you slept with this week? My husband. What size is your bed? I have a super king. What is your song of the week? I don't really have a song of the week. I like what I like and I listen to it over and over and over again. Is it okay for guys to wear pink? For sure. Do you still watch cartoons? Yeah. What's your least favorite movie? I have a lot of least favorite movies. I couldn't even tell you. Oops. Though I'm quite sick of Frozen. Frozen itself isn't that bad. It's all the hype about it that's made it bad. Same with Minions. I actually love the Minions movie. But because people won't shut the hell up about it, it just gets you like, oh, I'm so tired of hearing about it. Where would you bury hidden treasure if you had some? Like, I have the remnants of two failed pregnancies in my freezer encased in wax, and I don't even know where to bury them. So if I had treasure, I, I wouldn't even know where to bury it. What do you drink with dinner? Milk, probably, or water. What do you dip a chicken nugget in? Either peri-peri mayo or barbecue sauce. What is your favorite food? I love salty stuff and I love cheese, so probably a pizza with feta. What movies could you watch over and over and over and still love? Lots of movies. Like I could watch um, lots of movies. Anything on my favorite movie list, but I'm trying to get through this fast so I'm not going to list them. Anything I love, I could watch over and over and over again. Last person you kissed or that kissed you? My husband, of course. Were you ever a boy or girl scout? Nope. Would you ever strip or pose nude in a magazine? I used to strip. Hated it. Pose nude in a magazine. Not unless it was tasteful and certain, you know, my bits were covered. Which isn't really fully nude, I guess. When was the last time you wrote a letter to someone on paper? Fuck, I don't even... Oh, I do remember. It was in 2002, 2012, sorry, when Logan was taken away from me and I was slipping him notes, telling him that I loved him and I missed him and I was really sad and trying to be there for him and tell him that he wasn't evil like everybody said he was and, you know, just to be strong and things like that. So I wrote lots of notes and then tore them up and then slipped them all over his clothes, pieces of paper, um, pockets so that he could find them later and stuff. Can you change the oil on a car? Nope. Have you ever gotten a speeding ticket? Nope. Ever run out of gas? No. Favorite kind of sandwich? Grilled cheese. Best thing to eat for breakfast? Cereal with lots of sugar. What is your usual bedtime? 10 o'clock. Are you lazy? Yeah. <laughs> when you were a kid, what did you dress up for as Halloween? Whatever my parents made me dress up as. Boring, plastic, the plastic um, dress thing with the fake plastic mask. 
What is your Chinese astrological sign? I'm a dragon. How many languages can you speak? One and a half. I understand Spanish, know some Spanish, enough to get by. Don't like to speak it though because I I know I can't pronounce shit right, so I get embarrassed. Do you have any magazine subscriptions? No, but there's some magazines that I really want to subscribe to because I really love the celebrity magazines. Which are better, Legos or Lincoln Logs? Legos. Are you stubborn? Very. Who is better? John Leno or Letterman? I don't know. I don't watch either. Ever watch soap operas? No. Are you afraid of heights? Yes. Do you sing in the car? Only if I'm alone. Do you sing in the shower? Never. Do you dance in the car? Never. Ever used a gun? I'm terrified of guns. That was question 50, by the way, so we're halfway there. Last time you got a portrait taken by a photographer, I actually got my picture taken um, like a couple weeks ago by Phil Bailey, who was someone that I really, really, really love and wanted to get photos taken by, so I'm super stoked about that. Do you think musicals are cheesy? Not cheesy, but boring. I just don't like it. Is Christmas stressful? I don't personally think so, but everybody else seems to. If you prepare way ahead of time, there's no reason for it to be stressful. You start buying your presents in June slowly so that you have everything and you get stuff on sale and yeah. Ever eat a pierogi? I don't even know what that is, so probably not. Favorite type of fruit pie? Apple pie? Occupations you wanted to be when you were a kid? Does mermaid count? <laughs> Ballerina? Princess? I don't know. Do you believe in ghosts? Not really. Ever have a deja vu feeling? All the time. Take a vitamin daily. I'm supposed to. I've just run out. Wear slippers. I have these awesome fuzzy monster fur slippers. So yeah. Wear bathrobe in the winter I do. What do you wear to bed? I sleep naked. First concert, Morbid Angel, Moonspell, and Paradise Lost. Walmart, Target, or Kmart? Walmart all the way. Nike or Adidas? Don't know, don't care. Don't wear that kind of stuff. Cheetos or Fritos? Fritos. Peanuts or sunflower seeds? Peanuts. Ever hear of the group Trespian? No. Ever take dance lessons? Nope. Is there a profession you picture your future spouse doing? Well, I'm married and he's in a career. He's in trades and that's all I could picture him doing. He's very... I don't know, he needs to be busy. He couldn't sit in an office or talk to people or do anything like that. He would go absolutely batshit. So he's actually doing the best thing for him. Can you curl your tongue? Is that curling it sideways? That's really disgusting, I guess. I can't make a flower out of it though. I can only just curl it besides. Ever want a spelling bee? Yeah, lots. Have you ever cried because you're so happy? I have never cried out of happiness. The closest I've come is when I was I was pregnant and I was reading over marriage vows for our upcoming wedding before my husband and I got married and I got really teary and started leaking a bit because I was just so like happy and in love and I've never done that. That's the closest. Own any record albums? I actually do. I own a Laura, Laura Branigan album. I own a Gwen Stefani album. And I own a London After Midnight double-sided picture disc. Do you own a record player? No. Regularly, regularly burn incense. I do. And Super Hit is my favorite scent. Ever been in love? I'm in love right now. Who would you like to see in concert? Corpus Delicti! But they wouldn't play. London After Midnight would have been great as well. I've seen pretty much everybody I've ever wanted to see, but... I haven't been to a concert in so many years because nobody comes to New Zealand. Or at least not for under a fucking hundred dollars. What was the last concert you saw? I honestly don't even remember who the last one was I saw. I know I saw a bunch of people before I moved away 
but I don't remember. Maybe Project 44, I think. Hot tea or cold tea? I like cold tea. Tea or coffee? I like cold tea, like Lipton. But then I like iced coffee, like that. Um, sugar or snickerdoodles? I don't even know what a snickerdoodle is, so I don't know. Can you swim well? I can float really well. I could float on top of the water and like go to sleep, put my arms behind my back and just basically drift off. I can swim. I don't know about how well. Can you hold your breath without holding your nose? Yeah. Are you patient? Fuck no. DJ or band at a wedding? Um, depends what kind of wedding. I mean, I had, I didn't have either. A DJ would have fit in better at mine, but I, if you have like the whole thing with the whole reception and milling around and big piece of land gazebos and whatnot, I, I could see a band working. I could see either working, really. Ever won a contest? Yeah, I've won some Halloween contests. Ever have plastic surgery? No, but I want some. I want to get my nose done. I want to get, like, because even if I'm then, like, I have, like, a fat face. I have this still. So my face never looks skinny. So I'd, like, I don't know, like a jaw implant or like liposuction or to do that, but I don't know. There's, I really hate my jaw. I just don't feel like I have like a nice chiseled face, even though I don't really have any fat on my face anymore. Just a lot of loose skin. I don't know. I want LASIK. That's not really plastic surgery. I'd get my eye color changed whenever they come out with that laser. And I want my boobs done. Since I've lost weight, like my boobs are real flat and pancakey and saggy and gross. And I want to get implants and lifts to put my boobs back like up here or something. Well, that's what I'm after. And then probably liposuction, skin tightening, tummy tuck, kind of things like that. I, I'd, if I had the money, I'd go absolutely batshit and completely change my whole self, probably. Which are better, black or green olives? I hate olives, so neither. Can you knit or crochet? Nope. Best room for a fireplace? Living room? Do you want to get married? Not again. <laughs> I want to stay married to the person I'm married to now, forever and ever and ever. If married, how long have you been married? We just had our two-year wedding anniversary a couple days ago, on the 9th, and it is the 11th now. Um, who was your high school crush? Luis Jordan was my high school crush. Back when people used to pick on me and everybody hated me, he was always really nice. He used to play drums in the school band. He had long black hair down to his waist and he just walked by and he was so sweet to me, never judged me or anything. And I was completely infatuated with him for 13 years. And it kind of still sucks in a way. I mean, it doesn't because I love my husband, but like he really hurt me because we saw each other again as adults and he was at club 101 which is where i used to go he was there with a friend of his who used to be a high school friend of mine and they stopped and they're like wow diana is it you and i was like yeah and i had no idea who they were oh my god you grew up hot and then they explained who they were and i was like because louisa cut off all his hair and i i was just I have like this hair fetish. Without his hair, I originally didn't think he was hot anymore. And I was just like, ah, oh, haha, you know, my high school crushes think I'm hot now, that kind of that whole thing. And then we ended up talking and being friends again and being around him more, seeing his face more. I was like, I remember you. And I started really falling for him again. And he was with his high school girlfriend. They got together, had a kid together, like in high school, which back then you just didn't do. And um, at this point, they had been together for like 10 years, 11 years, and she was quite a fucking bitch. Huge bitch. Even though he and I were just friends, she treated me like shit, wouldn't let him give me a ride home, things like that. And he would anyway. Ended up staying up with me all night, sitting on my couch, just telling me how he just really couldn't stand her. And then he laid his head on my shoulder and fell asleep on my shoulder. And I like, I wanted to kiss him so bad or 
go take him to the bedroom and just cuddle with him. I, I really, I have like waited almost 15 years to kiss him or do something. And I didn't have the balls. I didn't do anything. And, um, he would always tell me that he thought I was beautiful and he thought I was sexy and he really loved me, really cared about me, but he wouldn't date me. And when they split up, instead of dating me, he dated some, somebody else and that just broke my heart. And then they split up and like all this time we kept talking and I, I told him bluntly, I was like, you know, I wouldn't do the things that this girl is doing to you. I wouldn't do the things your ex would do to you. I, I've been after you for so long and I care about you so much. I just really wish you'd give me a chance. Like I just, I had nothing left to lose. I told him everything. And then next thing you know, he hooked up with somebody else and he never explained to me why he didn't want to date me. And I told him, don't pretend to like me. If you don't like me, you're really hurting me. And he's like, I, I hold you so high. I respect you so much. You have no idea how much I actually care about you, but he never wanted to date me. And I do believe him. I don't believe he was bullshitting me. He wasn't that kind of guy. He was a physical therapist. He was actually my mom's physical therapist and she really liked him as well. And I'd go to his house and kick back and invite me over all the time and pick me up, take me home. And we hung out quite a bit and I was married, but my husband had walked out on me again. And I was actually with Luis and my best friend, Brenda and my son. And we went to the mall to see my husband at work while we were still together. And I was like, it was Brenda and me and Dorian. And then Luis was on the other side of Brenda. And I heard, Hey, you slut whore in the red. And I'm like, what the fuck? Cause I was the only one there wearing bright red. And I looked up and there was my husband there and he's like, <sighs> like that. And then he leaned over and hawked a loogie right on me and fucking spit on me in the middle of the mall in front of everybody. And he tried to say later it was because I was walking around holding hands with that guy. And I'm like, Louis was my friend. This is before I started re feeling the feelings for him. He was just my high school friend and I wasn't even there just with him. And I was looking for my husband to introduce him. And so that's the reception I got. And he left me quite a few times. Louis was there for me and no, it wasn't just a rebound thing because I had always had a thing for him. And, um, yeah, next thing I know, Louis was getting remarried and he, invited me to his wedding. And I just said, you know, I'm not going to your wedding and I'm sorry, but I can't be your friend anymore. This, you've broken my heart by your refusal to date me or give me a chance. Meanwhile, you're telling me that you have all these feelings for me. And, you know, I had a fling with one, with that other guy from high school, um, because my husband had just left. And this was again, before I was like all back into Luis again. And, um, this guy came over to comfort me, take my mind off of things or whatever. And he brought his friend with, with him and I hadn't been eating or drinking. I was depressed, crying. I just wanted to curl in a ball and die. I went through so much with my ex. Like he, he mind fucked me so much to this day. I still have nightmares about him. I dream about him all the time, even though I don't think about him. It just really sucks. And, um, they kind of, took advantage of me and ended up fucking me. And, um, I didn't care. I was just like, I just don't care. I just laid there and let them do whatever they wanted to do to me. And I just, I didn't care about anything. I don't know if any of you guys have ever been there, but I was, and Luis was so hurt when he found out that I did that. He told me that he got so pissed off and disgusted. He couldn't imagine me being used that way or just in that position. He thought way too highly of me to even, consider that I would, I would do that or let that be done to me. And so all the signs were there and I just, it was a big mind fuck. I don't know what he's doing now, if he's still married or what, or if he even cares that I quit talking to him. But, um, yeah, that was probably the longest lasting, most hurtful thing because I genuinely really like, I wanted nothing more than to be with him. And he gave me all the signs and then just never followed through with it. So, yeah. And he was so sweet too. It was never anything cruel or mean. He always stuck up for me. He was always there for me. I just don't get it, you know, unless it was that initial thing that I did that just made him not want to go there with me. But how was I to know? I don't know. Moving on. This is uh, 95. Do you cry and throw a fit until you get your own way? I don't cry, but I do pout and throw a fit. Yeah, I'll admit it. 
Do you have kids? I have one kid. Do you want kids? Yes and no. I've tried to have another kid since my son was two and he's 21 now. I really want a family with Logan, but it hasn't happened. And my womb is broken and I need a surrogate and nobody will surrogate. So I've kind of just had to talk myself out of it. I don't really want a kid at this point. I don't want to, I, I don't know. I don't know if I got pregnant or had a surrogate, I would be happier than anything in the world, but realistically it's not going to happen. So I just have to be fine with where I am in life and what I do have. At least I have one kid. So it's not like I've never gotten to have a kid. What's your favorite color? Red. Do you miss anyone right now? Yeah, I miss my mom. I miss my dad a lot. I miss Logan when he's not here. And 100, something that happened to you in middle school. Hmm. Nothing really happened in middle school. Middle school is very uneventful. It was only sixth and seventh grade, really. I found myself. Oh, uh, I had a boyfriend that died. That fucked me over pretty good. Um, he got shot. That's about it. So this has been quite a long one, but well, 100 questions, what do you expect? Hope you guys enjoyed this. Sorry for blabbing on that middle bit. Uh, kind of brought up some feelings I forgot I had. And uh, I will see you guys next video.